breaking news from Thousand Oaks. We have new details now in the mass shooting at the Borderline Bar and Grill. Investigators say Ventura County Sheriff Sergeant Ron Helis was not killed by the gunman. He died from a bullet fired by a CHP officer. KCAL 9's Randy Page was at a news conference in Thousand Oaks. And Randy, this is really a shock to so many. It is, and it's important, the sheriff here says, to understand what these two officers were facing when they arrived. Because when they first arrived at the borderline, the sheriff says Sergeant Ron Helis and the CHP officer could hear gunshots from inside the building, screams. People were jumping out of the window, bloody victims, when they entered the building. And then the sheriff picked up the story from there. When Venture County Sheriff Sergeant Ron Helis and a CHP officer entered the bar, the suspect attacked almost immediately, firing multiple rounds at both men. Sergeant Helis was struck five times by gunfire from the suspect. Both men quickly retreated and fired their rifles at the suspect. Today, I'm deeply saddened to inform you that Sergeant Helis was also struck by a sixth bullet, which we now know through forensic analysis by the FBI's crime laboratory, was fired from the CHP officer's rifle. Tragically, that bullet struck vital organs and was fatal. Ventura County Medical Examiner Dr. Christopher Young described the path of that sixth bullet. This bullet uh, struck Sergeant Helis in the chest. Ultimately, this was the, the most severe uh, injury sustained. CHP Chief of the Coastal Division, L.D. Maple, said the CHP officer who fired the fatal round is devastated. I delivered the message to him yesterday. Had no clue that it was coming. It was a surprise to all of us. He's devastated. He's a consummate professional, well-trained, military background. And as the sheriff said, it's still under investigation. Ventura County Sheriff Bill Ayub said his deputies and the CHP have not trained together in active shooter scenarios. So that's pretty, that's pretty big stuff right there, right? So borderline, borderline, remember borderline? This is the borderline shooting. And uh, what you just heard was amazing right so so they're just releasing new information right marcus conti reporting <laughs> it's still in my uh still in my mother's sick sick bed my, my fucking rib is killing me man it's just busted oh god damn <clears throat> thank you all for the well wishes and all that shit and the people that fucking say he's he ate too many marshmallows it's possible i think that's what it was food poisoning right, but the injury is consistent with falling in the tub getting very dizzy, falling, and then <clears throat> hitting the faucet on the way down. But that's, that's okay. I'm all right. I'm, I'm, I'm recovering. <clears throat> but this is interesting. Why? See, I, I heard it yesterday. I was like, hmm, I want to talk about that, right? But why is it, why, why now? Why now, right? We learned a couple of things, right? So now we find out that the two cops walk into borderline Borderline Bar and Grill, where 11 people <clears throat> and the shooter right, and, the, and the cop, 12 people in all, were allegedly killed by <clears throat> one lone, shoot, lone shooter, David Long, right? But the story is now that the two cops walked into the bar. One is a CHF. What does that mean? It's California Highway Patrol Officer. And he has a rifle, right? And the other guy... Ron Helis, who was, uh, he's the dead guy, right? He's the dead cop, right? So they walk in, and what they're saying now is that Helis, Helis was here, the other cop was here, and then the shooter was over there, right? So Helis was allegedly in the crossfire, right? And they're saying that ex exchange shots were exchanged, right? But they're also saying now that the shooter died of one gun gunshot to the head. Right? There's also reports of that. I don't know where it is, but I saw it. Right? So the story's starting to change. They're also saying now that you remember initially we they said when they quizzed the military trained personnel, the kids, the young guys that were in the room, how many shots they heard. Most of them confirmed thirty. Now they're saying he had seven clips of thirty. Fucking stories change. I'm just giving you the details, right? This is how as how I remember it, and now how it's a month later, how it's how it's uh, panning out. So, so it turns out that the shooter, 
Right. Well, listen, it's all in my view. It's 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 still pretty much a, f a false story because we never saw the bodies of the eleven people. We never saw ballistics for the eleven people. Why ballistics now for one cop? Right. And it's a devastating ballistic. The one they're giving the sh the shot to the heart. Right. The one shot that the cop shot. Right now, did he shoot him in the back? Did he shoot him in the in the front? Was he in the crossfire? See, I had said a long time ago that it's likely that Ron Hellis, the uh, deputy sergeant, walked into something that he walked into an operation. That's what I had speculated, and I said that there was a shooter, a possible shooter in the room, that took him out. Right. It'll roll the tape back. I mean, I did the I did the report when I heard it. That's what I said, and now we find out that this cop was in fact shot by a cop. <laughs> now, why would why would the FBI and the CIA and and the the people running this quote investigation why would they release a bit of information like that to the public now a month later? See, that's what I was thinking about overnight. I'm like, hmm. It's like putting on my fucking Columbo, Columbo hat, right? Why would they do that? Right? Why would they release that little bit of information? Crossfire, the 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 the, the, the cop shot the other cop, right? Why would they suddenly release that? Well, maybe maybe it's in an operation. The police know a little too much. Right, and they're sending it out to other organizations. I mean, this is just a working theory. I right, just speculation. This is not a, this is not a fact or or any, you know, any basis in fact. But it does raise the question: Why would, why would the, the FBI now be releasing a bit of information about a bullet that pierced the, the dead cop's heart, was shot by another police officer? of which we don't know his name. And why is a California Highway Patrol officer suddenly there? Why didn't he get any sh why didn't he take any shots? Why was he was he so far out of the way that he didn't take a shot? And why when two cops are firing at some lone gunman not, that he couldn't hit any of them, right? And the simple the, the, the simple numbers how one kid with a with a 45 Glock did all this damage, right? He he killed eleven people, and then he had he, he had how many? He opened fire on police and had a a vigorous exchange with the, with two police. Right? It it doesn't add up. Where's the ballistics on the kid? They said he he shot himself in the head. Yeah. Do we believe any of it? That's the point, right? Is it it's all believable or it's all unbelievable? You know. But it is it is interesting and suspect why this latest bit of information rolls out that the cop was in fact shot by another cop. The cop's bullet has been confirmed to have been the the the, the cause of his death. They say he could have survived the other five shots, but that one killed him. It pierced his uh, his heart organ. Uh, so something to think about. Marcus Conti reporting.